G'day, it's State Rig Guy here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to tie a hook to your line. We're going to do uh, three different ones, but they're all the, at the end of the day they all look the same and they all do the same thing. So what we're going to do is we start off with a very basic clinch knot. Just go through, hold our hook, put my th always put my thumb there. Just makes things a fraction easier. So we go around. We do seven times. Thicker line, you can do five to seven, but personally, I like to do um, seven twists. We then go up the line, we've done our seven. This this loop here, we bring our line back through there, hold it, so it looks like that, and then we just pull tight. Bingo, bango, she's done, she's ready to go. It may not work on thin line, I've never used this before, so it could work great on um, thicker stuff. But on thin line, I wouldn't risk it just in case you got slippage. Now, you're looking going, okay, slippage. What happens if it slips? What do we use for slippage? Well, what I tend to use is I'll use a, a, what I call a double. So bring this through once again. We then wrap around our seven times. One, two, three... Four, five, six, and seven. We've got our little hole here. We run our rabbit through there. And then from there, it goes around that tree and it comes back through there. Now, we give this a bit of a, a bit of moisture because friction and night mono doesn't work. Heat destroys it and friction causes heat. So we pull down, pull it nice and tight. We've got there, it locks in beautifully. Now, if you're running braid, straight braid to your hook, I do tie this a little bit differently. How so? So what I do, get my line, get my hook. Instead of just going once through there, I'll go through that twice, forming a nice little, nice little loop there. I get that nice and big, so I get my thumb in there. And we do the same again. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we now have our running tag. We've got our loops there. We bring that back through both those loops at the bottom. And then we bring it back through just like the last one. And through we go, just like that. Looks exactly the same. Pull down tight and it will lock exactly the same. Simple, done. Now that extra twist or, or turn actually causes just it to bite down harder and also help prevent slippage. Now, let's hope this has helped you out, guys out a little bit. Next time we'll cover a bit of snelling. Till next time, get out there and get amongst it from that rig guy. See ya.